I was just dancing to a bit of music. Anyway, I will now pass you on to my human. <laughs> Hello, fuzzies. Dragon Studio here. Yes, this is my cute little dragon <laughs> listening to some music. I don't know what to call her. She hasn't got a name. And she's made out of like the Plaza of Paris type of stuff. It is meant for the fairy gardens. Which at first I thought it would be like made out of plastic and be quite small. But when it came today, it's reasonably big. So in comparison to my hand, that is how big she is. She is so cute. I do not know have a name for her yet. So she can sit there. I have got a backflow burner in the background there as you can see it's just finished burning I also got another one of these little fairy garden dragons as you can see they both match so yeah both the same dragon one drawing and one as in his music like i said i haven't got names for them yet or should i say her because they're both gonna have the same name she's just in different poses i have also been working on um some more animal crossing stuff which i'll show you in a minute as you can see, this is my Animal Crossing Amiibo card folder. So, the ones I want to get to are at the back. As you can see, here I have been working on some Amiibos myself. These are hand-drawn ones that I've created myself. These are actually done on an actual Amiibo card. Proper plastic Amiibo cards. So I just used any doubles and put a picture on. So the ones I want to show you are these two amiibo cards one is protected in a clear sticky back plastic which makes it look shiny kind of looks 3d as well because i had to cut around my animal crossing villager so that's the front and then this is the back I put a bit of thick card in between to make it a bit more sturdy. So here's me in my Happy Home Paradise uniform when my hair was a bit longer at the time. I had it spiked. This one isn't protected yet. So <laughs> this is another one of me posing in my dragon jacket. These are pretty easy to make. I have actually got my auntie to thank for helping me to make these. She printed off the backgrounds through the Amiibo cards and then the back of the Amiibo cards to the Amiibo card size. And then she just printed off my Amiibo bigger than that's on my island and I just cut around them so I will be taking more pictures of my Animal Crossing character and send them through then to my auntie to print off when she gets back off her holidays to Lords. I also do have um 
some fidget spinners. Well, I wouldn't say fidget spinners, but like fidget infinity cube and the fidget cube. I also bought, as you can most probably recognise, this box. So, as some of you may recognise this box here, it is not <laughs> the same wand. Just to let you fuzzies know, it is a totally different wand. Mm, and I can smell food on the breeze. I don't know why people leave dogs outside 24-7 and let them bark constantly. It's annoying. So someone's definitely having a word that can't be mentioned. So, yeah, we'll get this wand out of its box. And as you can see, this is another beautifully hand-carved wand from the same company that did the Lord Voldemort wand. This one has been stained with dark varnish, wood varnish. So as you can see, which is quite difficult to get into a decent position, it is a dragon carved into the handle. And then it goes, you see its front feet there and its wings and then goes into its tail. I will leave the link in the description box for this wand if anyone is interested in getting this wand and supporting the fellow that does that hand makes these ones. He is a small business and each one of these obviously takes time and effort to carve and each wand will be totally different in shape because this one's got like a little hump, a little lumpy lumpy bit on, on it. So depending on the type of wood he has each one will be different. I don't know whether you can hear that in the background. So there's a car going around because it's our local elections. And I can't quite hear what he's saying. Because our area where we live, it's Labour. So there's the car going around saying, vote Labour. So they're voting things probably this weekend. I also received this belated Easter present, Hitch Trailblazer. So we'll get the other My Little Pony figures in. So they can join in and watch the opening. Go and zip. So, yep. Try and get it into a decent position. So, let's get into opening this video. Opening this video. Opening the box. <laughs> So we finally have Hitch out of his box. We basically all know what's in these eggs. <laughs> A little bracelet with the same wing design. A little shield that looks like a duck foot. A little heart. Horseshoe, and then we've got a bigger shield of Hitch's cutie mark, and then another horseshoe, and then pointless stickers, which I suppose I could stick them on something, but they're just so puny. 
So yeah, that's all of that. That I might keep this little horseshoe out and the green shield out simply because of one thing I'll show you in a minute. So here you have hitch. So this you can take off if you wanted to. So you don't have to have it on. This is like his little scout thing where he's got his little sheriff badge, little hook there and then makes it look like a saddle. His tail isn't as translucent nor is he hair as his hair as the others. So he's got the same heart shaped holes on the bottom of his feet. They haven't coloured his hooves in so I might do that. And he's still got the articulated head. Oh, I'm feeling a bit dizzy. <laughs> and then four pairs of boots which have holes in either side. So I won't put his boots on. Then he's got his little rucksack bag, horse saddle bag with that's got holes in. So you can like put some of the charms in. For this so I'll put his shield there and a horseshoe there. And then he has two little critters. He's got a little crab. It's in your snippy snippy. And his little pet seagull, which his seagull can go into that side. And then the crab can kind of go in. Well, I don't think he wants to. He can go in that side. So you can now join all the other my little pony figures on an adventure so these are all of my G5 my little pony figures until next time fuzzies bye